Okay, seven o'clock. Everybody, please stand. Councilman Evans will uh, leave us leave us an invocation, and Councilman Andrews will do the pledge of allegiance for us. Let us pray. God, our Father, thank you for allowing us to be here today. Thank you for giving us an opportunity to serve the citizens of Centerville. Help us work with sound judgment and sound mind as we go to make decisions that will benefit us all. We pray that it is in His name. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Please have a seat. And welcome to everybody who, who's here. Good to see all the faces out here. But I wish I could see everybody else in person that's out there. But thank you for, for those of you who are joining us tonight. Um, Councilman Wright is unable to be with us this evening. So we will continue on. Public comments. I uh, have none listed here tonight. So we'll go to the next item on here. But well, I believe we will have a, a, a motion to add an item to the agenda. Yes, sir. Um, Mr. Mayor, um, I move that we add an item to the agenda to discuss the Archdale Water Tower. Uh, it's time for it to be painted, and we need to talk about what we're going to do there. Second. Okay, I have a motion and a second. All approved, say aye. 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 Oh. All disapproved, same sign. Okay, that's going to be item number seven. <clears throat> All right, next we have the adoption of the minutes. We have two sets of min minutes, <clears throat> February 2nd, 2021, and February 16th, 2021 council work session. I entertain a motion to adopt both sets of minutes as written, or if we need to take them separately, I'll do that also. May I make a motion to accept the minutes as written? I have a motion. Do I hear a second? Second. And a second. Anybody have any comments or thoughts on the minutes? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 All against, same motion. Hearing none, both sets of minutes have been approved. Thank you, gentlemen. Old business, there is no old business tonight. New business, we have a few items. First one here is a home-based business license. License, Prestige Surplus LLC, owner Irwin Middleton, 125 Backseater Lane. Councilman Evans, you have that one, please. Yes, sir, I do. Um, so, Mr. Middleton will be selling refurbished items and new items. It's all gonna be done online. Um, so we're not gonna have traffic in and out of the neighborhood. And uh, he has gone through the necessary steps to uh, to establish his business in Senegal. And I move that we approve this business. Okay, I have a motion. I hear a second. Second. All right, and I have a second. <clears throat> Any further comments? Not hearing. I'll call for the motion. All in favor, say aye. Aye. <clears throat> All opposed, same side. Motion carries. <clears throat> Mr. Middleton, uh, welcome to, to the city as a business partner with the city. Yes. Thank you so much for taking this initiative. Item number four is a home-based business. Um, license more pain. Owner Patrick, Chief uh, Senior, 120 Ridgepin Drive. Councilman Omiho, you have that one, sir. Yes, sir. So uh, I make a motion that we uh, accept um, more pain. Home business uh, to Centerville. Uh, and they specialize in t-shirts, hats, and coats. And uh, he has a web address. He'll be uh, doing this uh, over the uh, internet. You just order it through his business, and then and then it, it, uh, that's how he's going to do his business. And so, um, Mayor, with that said. Uh, like I said, he's going to be an on-tail, uh, online retail, and and he has a merchandise website. And so, uh, with that said, <coughs> so I make that uh, make that motion. That we'll say, I'll second the motion, Mr. Mayor. <coughs> motion and a second. And I see in the back here. He says, uh, "I will not be requiring 
or have any reason to have customers uh, parking, or will I have house operations, <coughs> certain house operations, so all online. Okay, I'll call for the motion. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Excuse me. <laughs> all opposed, same sign. Hearing none. Then, uh, well, I welcome more pain to the city as a business partner with us, too. Thank you very much for taking this initiative. There you go. More pain. More pain. Item number five discussion center park at Centerville Fence. Councilman Evans, you have that one, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, you know, um, it, it's great to have the park on the corner of House and Lake and Church Street. And uh, as you ride by, you see plenty of people out there enjoying it, uh, especially when the weather is good. Sometimes they're out there when it's kind of cool, but uh, they're enjoying it. And, and, and I think that's what we envisioned when we talked about this and when we really got started. It's great to see that we have a place in the middle of the city where our citizens and others can gather just to relax, to exercise, and to enjoy time with their children. And with that said, you know, we want to make sure that everybody's safe. So that is why we are considering this item of putting a fence along House and Lake Road because of the traffic and we don't want anybody to be pushed or to, or to run out in that area and be harmed. So I'm going to go ahead and let Director Hogan speak about the fence and, and what's been done and then we'll go from there. Thank you so much, Councilman. In your packets, um, you have a picture of the proposed fence, um, a summary of all of the Facebook comments where we received a significant amount of feedback for the fence to be added to Center Park. Um, we've got a map of the location and it's delineated by the red line along Castle Lake Boulevard. And then you also have two quotes. So on our Center Park Facebook page, we have had 26 individuals who spoke in favor of a fence. Equally, there were individuals reminding those people to watch their children. Um, the, the fence feedback is all on posts that were not topically related to a fence or even soliciting feedback. It was unsolicited feedback. Um, the Center Park community on Facebook is 7,300 people. And we've consistently had attendance, as you mentioned, Councilman Evans, at the playground in the park despite the comments about the fence. I would say the fence comments have slowed down on Facebook, but you guys have every comment that was made about the fence dating back to November 13th, 2020. I just wanted to bring this to your attention as it was something that the public was asking for on our platform. And also just wanted to see if you guys wanted to move forward with this. And if so, if you wanted to move forward this fiscal year or the following fiscal year. I received two quotes, one from Byron Fence Company at $6,587.50 and National Fence at $3,875 flat. Um, that is for a four foot black aluminum metal fence, 250 feet. Yes, sir, and that's a that's a picture of it. <clears throat> okay, one bid, the fire fence says aluminum, where the National Fence Company says uh, steel. Okay, I can clarify, but my understanding from talking with National Fence, because they actually did a site visit, mm -hmm. um, was that it was aluminum, but I'll clarify. Okay, I just noticed that. Yeah. I have a good question. Yes, sir. Why the disparity in the two bids? That, that seems like a lot. I, yes, I completely agree. Um, I've worked with National Fence before. I think that they um, are frequently utilized for uh, right-of-way and road projects throughout the county. That's how I was introduced to them. Um, Byron Fence, I, I'm not familiar with their company. Um, so I can't speak to the cost disparity, but I will say I reached out to a third person or their company about a fence quote and they never returned my phone call. And again, the only person who made a site visit was National Fence. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah. I entertain a motion at this time, but if you um, entertain a motion to, to do it this time, we need to identify a funding source. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. 
Uh, so, Mr. Mayor, I move that we move forward with sanctioning and Center Park in this fiscal year for the city loan. Um, the cost would be covered by moving money from other purchase services in the economic development budget to site improvements in the Center Park budget. And that would total $3,875 with the National Fence Fund. Second. Motion and a second. <clears throat> Hearing further discussion? I was there. I, um, Please. Originally, um, I really wanted us to put a brick fence there. And I know Mike and I, we've all really kind of talked about that for safety reasons. But um, after reading all of the comments that you provided us with, which is very telling, um, and they're right. They're right. We, we can't wait. Um, I do think that this is a good thing. I think later on down the line, it would be nice to look at something a little bit more proactive to keep people from being able to drive in there. This will do not. This will not do that, of course. But it will keep young ones from running out into the road, and I and I do like that. I think we should forge ahead. My only <clears throat> hesitation is why is there such a big price difference for the same thing? I mean, is it is there something else that I'm missing? Verbatim, I told National Fence Company that we were looking for a very similar fence. To the fence that was established outside of the cemetery adjacent to center park they we talked about it he suggested maybe a four foot fence as a cost saving measure sure. i i told fire and fence i read it off of the same quote and i'm not sure why there okay. is maybe a there's a reason there but i don't want to speculate yes sir but i, I think um Jennifer andrews just for your point there uh, we, we have had some discussions, uh, Director Hogan and I, about a particular fence and putting up something different other than uh, what we're talking about here. And we are thinking maybe sometime in the future yeah, we, may, the we may do that. But right now... It's too expensive. Um, right, that's yeah, correct. Way too expensive. Um, and right now we need to go ahead and, and yeah. take care of this safety issue. Exactly. And, uh, and, but the fence that, that we see... It's going to be a, a nice looking fence. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's going to take away from the attractiveness of the park, yeah. um, and, and it, it will it will uh, alleviate that concern. And it'll blend into what you've already got. But that's what convinced me is those comments about those kids. And working for the board of education, I can't. I say very little up here about board business, but when it comes to safety and security, that's my primary job in my building. And um, I've built more fence probably than any other assistant principal since I've been where I'm at. And I can't, I can't, um, I can't even speak even remotely against this. We got to do it. And how fast? That's my next question. How fast can they get on? I, I believe that they could move forward and we could have it installed by the end of March. Okay. It's too slow. But um, <laughs> I'm able to push them to get on it and get yes, it done. I mean, if y'all rode by there on Saturday, I think I texted the rest of the crew. Um, probably 150 to 200 people out there. Yeah, and it was cool. insane. I mean, I had no idea that there were that many people out there. They were everywhere. And there were kids running. It was like ants. I mean, so I can I get the comments. And as a, as a parent, I, don't, I mean, mine are grown now, but I just i would be mortified if one of those kids ran out into the road. And I think one of the benefits of this fiscal year versus fiscal year 2022 is the fact that the splash pad will be active before fiscal year 2022, yeah. and it is placed a little closer to the road than the playground is. Yeah, I think it'll be all over the place. That's right. Mm -hmm. So, Mayor, I have, um, mm -hmm. have a comment. I, I have received several requests also. I, I, I don't know if they were any of the ones I saw in your, uh, in your report, but I know I have, I have received a lot of calls and requests about us putting a fence up. And so I was glad to see that we we're going to take that action to do that. And so I'm all in favor for it as well. Hmm. It is a great idea. You're absolutely correct. Okay, at this point, I think we beat that to death. It's a, a call. We some more. Yeah. <laughs> I call for the question. All in favor, raise, uh, say aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. No opposed. Wow. All right, it does pass, and uh, everything's been identified for it, and we're ready to go. You can tell them to start tomorrow. Yes, sir. Make them happy.
<laughs> okay. Item number six, uh, discussion, March the 16th, 2021, council work session. As everybody knows, that's uh, the day they're voting on the in Centerville on the SPLOS, and the Warner Robins on the SPLOS, and the, uh, the education SPLOS, East SPLOS. The Warner Robins on the East SPLOS and some council positions over there, or a council position. <clears throat> so, anyhow, what we've, you know, what we've been doing for the last few months is when we have voting here in the city, on the same day we have a meeting, we cancel that meeting, or we, we do something different. Because they have to be the same time. But we close the whole building that day, except for the voting. And all the people come in and vote, and the next day we close the building so we can uh, spray it, you know, just to try to keep our employees safe. That's the most important thing, it's keeping them safe. And it's, it's well worth the effort of doing that. Uh, you can't spray while people are working, so we need to have the place closed for while we're doing that. <clears throat> so the idea is, uh, on that night then, <clears throat> March the 16th, council work session night, are we going to either cancel the meeting or are we going to try to do a Zoom meeting somehow where we can all Zoom from home into a meeting? I'll entertain motion and discussion. Okay, not hearing any. I'll make a, um, a discussion. Yes, sir. <laughs> you want to say something? Okay. I was going to recommend. We only had one thing particularly that I'm aware of was going to be that night, and that was <clears throat> having to do with the uh, uh, a banking system. Land we, we talk, the land bank. Yeah, land bank. We were going to have something on that, which could easily be postponed. Matter of fact, we discussed that uh, in house, and we are going to postpone that until the meeting in, in April, uh, council work session there. There's nothing else I know pending right now, so my recommendation is that uh, somebody make a motion that we cancel the meeting for that night. Um, and with the, the thought in mind that if something does come up that's important, we can have a call meeting to take place to replace it. So moved, Mr. Mayor. Second. I have a motion and a second. Okay, anybody for any further discussion? All right, all in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, same side. That passes. Thank you very much. Council meeting on March the 16th is hereby council until further notice. Okay, item number seven is Archdale Water Tower. And I believe that was. Yes, yes sir. Council, whatever yes, you have that one, sir. Yes, sir. So um, I'm going to go ahead and, and ask someone to come up and, and give us an update. Good evening, Council. I've been working with Director Brumfield to um, update our water tanks with our new logo that was recently adopted. Um, he contacted me in November to do some mock ups for the water towers. I quickly threw together four easy designs, um, but the pricing came back and there were some very expensive designs with a lot of color, and then there were some more efficient designs with just our logo. Um, at this point in time, Director Brumfield and I have discussed with Suez, who is the water tower um, contract, and we've decided to move, we would like to move forward with option one, if that is Council's decision. So uh, how often do we have to Paint or what? I know we have three of them. How often do we have to paint? It's on an as-needed basis. They're inspected yearly, and, and it typically it's anywhere from three to five years. Okay, so if we don't like it, it'll change soon. Sir? So if we don't like it, it will change soon. Yes, sir. Well, the cost that you see that is provided is a one-time cost, basically a a, a, a redesign a, a redesign fee to, to paint the emblem on the tank. And then from there on out, it, 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 the cost will be included in our maintenance contract. Oh, okay. Perfect. But yes, if, if we ever did decide that we didn't like it and change it again, it'll be that, oh, that, that same cost again. Oh, 
Okay, we paint the whole tower for that? Yes, sir. That's a deal. Yeah, you know, I, I was kind of looking at all these designs, and, and uh, I was looking at number three, and I, I love the color, but it would be great if it was purple. <laughs> <laughs> But Mr. Mayor, I, I move that we move forward with option one. Uh, that is the, the least expensive option, but it gives us what we want. Okay. I second it. Yeah, well, I have a motion, I have a second. You know, in the discussion part, I, I agree with Councilman Evans. I really like that option three. I don't know why. I do too. It's like twice. The cost no, of I agree. So the only thing I'll say in favor of option um, three is the fact that there is significant buildup of dirt on a white tower. So this could potentially insulate a dirty look on our tower. How about that Morse code in um, option number two? No. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like a piece of land. Uh, well, I'm, I'm going to say it again. I mean, if option three was purple, it'd be real good. <laughs> That's your brand. Not the city brand. Oh. Well, Mike, what is your opinion? Well, I, I, I personally, I, 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 I would rather have option one. Yeah. Okay. Simple. Yeah, I mean, it well, doesn't. Support, that's later. It, it does exactly Sorry. what we wanted to do. I mean, it, it shows it shows our city branding, um, which is which is, is is wonderful. I've gotten a lot of comments since we did that from folks, um, and and we, we really wanted to to stick with with what we what we've got here because it's it's excellent. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Funding source too is I think the money. Yes, sir. Um, we have it in the parish and maintenance in order. Yeah, right. The money is yeah. already in the funding source. Yeah. That's, yeah. Thanks for reminding me. I just want to put it in the minutes. Right. Okay. Then no aye. further discussion, and I'll call for the question. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. I want to hear purple talk. Okay. It passes. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now somebody needs to. I signed this thing. What that sound of that? Is that the original here? It is. This one is? Yeah. That's okay. The now with your uh, comments from the council, post one, please. Mayor, I know this is kind of late to the game, but um, I'm just curious if we need to uh, fence in the um, retention pond out there, too. This is a matter of safety. But I guess that's a discussion for a later day, but I thought I'd put that out there for y'all to just stew on for a week or two or three. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Oh, three. And, and, and just to piggyback on that, Councilman Andrew, there has been some discussion about that. Okay. Uh, we've, been, we've been talking about that, so we just haven't brought it forward yet. Uh, but but I, I am so glad that uh, those who have taken the opportunity to come out to the park have really enjoyed it. Uh, because they keep coming back, you drive by, you see some of the same people out there. Sometimes that's me. So I get out there several times with my grandchildren. I just worry about the alligators in the retention pond, so yeah. that's just my yeah, that's a good point too. <laughs> so that's an encouraging thing. All right, thank you. Post four, please. Yep. And so uh, as we start our spring, I know that we've got some activities coming up with at the park. I encourage you to visit our website and look at the schedule. And, and take advantage of the opportunities to get out and see your neighbors and it's that time of year to breathe some fresh air. And so uh, please come out, we encourage you to do that. We have a beautiful community, a beautiful city, and uh, it's, time to, it's time for us to get out and enjoy a little bit of the weather. That's all I have to say about that. Thank you very much. <clears throat> I have two things. One is uh, I've been talking to a few people about it. Uh, but I'm thinking that maybe instead of starting our first meeting of the month at 7 p.m., why don't we consider doing it at 6 p.m.? And, you know, I think it would save a lot of wear and tear on some of our employees because many of them are, have to be here, stay two hours past the, the time that they're working just to be here for a meeting before they can go home. Um, and I would like for our city attorney to perhaps look into that and see whether what it would take 
changing at six o'clock. Uh, I'll entertain any thoughts from anybody else at the moment. I'll look at it, man. Okay, I don't hear any other thoughts on it. <clears throat> the other thing is, we received today from the United States Census 2020 a, a thank you. It says the U.S. Census Bureau hereby recognized the city of Centerville Economic Development as an invaluable member of the 2020 Census Community Partnership and Engagement Program. I appreciate the efforts made in making the partnership program a success and helping achieve a successful 2020 census. You know, this is, it may be made out to the city of Centerville, but as far as I'm concerned, this goes to the citizens. Those of you who participated in it, you gave us a very high rate of high percentage people who actually participated in it. And this is really something that the citizens of Centerville learned. And I thank you all very much for y'all's efforts in making us a well-counted city for the census. Okay, I have nothing further, so this time... Hey, Mayor. Yes, sir. I was just going to mention that starting uh, March 1st is Women's History Month. Oh, yes. It's very important, and we want to make sure that we recognize not only, you know, the you know, famous women, but also our own women who are in the workforce here supporting Centerville and those supporting our county and, and our state. And so just wanted to, you know, mention that so that way we don't, you know, could easily move on and forget about it. So. That's a good point. We have a large number of our uh, department heads and uh, other people within the city are, are women, and they do an outstanding job for the citizens. So they do a great job of uh, recognizing, representing women in business. Yes, ma'am. Um, we have our April 10th citywide cleanup day, and I apologize for not leaving you a note. Okay. Uh, I was just informed that we have an April 10th citywide cleanup day. And my wife's been asking when that's going to be because she's ready to put some things out. But it on the agenda to remind everybody right. on April 6th at our meeting. Put on April 6th meeting too. But everybody get ready, think about what you want to clean up, and maybe this rain and cold weather would go away long enough for us to get out there and do something. All right, meeting's over. Thank you very much.